I, I would start with what was the purpose here. Joan, answer your question. There was room for optimism. And I think if you use the measuring stick as the September quarter, it was a disappointment. And I think if you use the measuring stick about where this company is going ultimately and the value it can create, it was a step in the right direction. I would put two key takeaways is uh, the future value creation is not around electrification, it's around autonomy. Tesla has struggled there, but I think based on what I saw last night, I am in the camp that they are far ahead of other car makers in the substance of their AI and where that's going relative to autonomy. And then the second is this skit uh, that they did around the bot. When I saw it, it, uh, it reminded me when Elon broke the window of the Cybertruck. It was painful at a, a certain point to watch. However, it uh, really spoke to what the ambitions of this company are, which is to get beyond cars, whether it's HVAC, solar, um, uh, storage. Now we have this bot. Uh, it's not gonna be out next year. It'll probably be five plus years before it's out, but it speaks to a company that wants to go after big problems physical labor in this case, and just one more before we turn it over to Gordon, is that I think this concept of, uh, of really laying out this vision, this is exciting for what is the land grab or the, the most treasured assets around AI's engineers. And that's what Elon was, that's who he was speaking to last night. It wasn't to investors, it was to get engineers excited about working in transformative projects. You're right. I don't know whether he intentionally with the truck out at Gordon, that might have been intentional too. He, he is a, sh a master showman. I, I guess you try to see through maybe some of the showmanship. I mean, it's hard to argue with the success of the stock, but you try to see through it. Some people, I just heard from someone that says when Musk talks about years on Mars, it's 687 days. So it really, it, theoretically, he could be accurate in terms of how long it's going to take, maybe using a different time frame, Gordon. Yeah, so I think what's very important and what made us drop our jaw is for years, the moat and the benefit and the advantage Tesla had was collecting miles that they fed into their neural net algorithm, which effectively gave them a significant advantage over every other automaker. And what we learned last night incrementally is that they're not doing that. They're effectively using simulations, which is taking videos and then having humans do the simulation to feed into effectively their full self-drive technology. That is miles away from what everybody thought they were doing. Everybody thought their cars were collecting data, feeding that data into their neural net algorithms, and every day their cars were getting smarter. We learned last night that's not true. That's a stair-step function down in what we thought Tesla was, what everybody thought Tesla was. And I just want to read my notes here. I talked to a neural net researcher this morning, and what he told me, he said that if Tesla is using a simulation, which they said they are, they're 20 sigma behind WAMO, which means they're years behind WAMO. And he also said, uh, whatever the NH, whatever NHTSA is doing now with respect to investigations will be child's play with respect to what other regulators will do. I think that that's a big dynamic. One other thing I want to mention, you know, they, they last night they spent half the day essentially begging people to come work for them to work on a product that they've been selling for $10,000 since 2016. Meaning the product they've been selling, which we do believe is Aperware, full self-drive does not exist, they're level two, um, uh, effectively does not exist. That is astounding. People have paid $10,000 for something that does not exist. There could potentially be regulatory um, and, and, and customer uh, pushback there. Um, and then lastly, you know, you just look at all the other promises he's made and this, this woman that came out in a leotard, which they called a, a robot. Um, when, when you think about Tesla's, you know, auto summon that's running into poles online, if you look at the videos uh, and garages, I mean, this was kind of like a, a full parody, uh, but they were serious. So I think there's real concerns, real big concerns. And Jane, you got to admit, you thought they were collecting these models. You thought they were feeding it into their neural network. They're not. That's a big difference. That's a big change. That's a big negative.